It's just gone five o'clock. You're with Linda Mariano on Triple J, and you are also joined by Muse. They Hi. are sitting in the studio. Hello again. Hello hey, how's it going? Matt <laughs> and Dom Mortgages, from Muse. families. Yeah, that's what everyone's just planning for. <laughs> Broadway market. Is that what you're going to do? Just... When are you going back to London? Oh, not till March next year. Oh, are you going to be here all that time? Yes. Oh, I'm, I'm going to be here at Triple J for one month. Are you gonna, you're gonna, oh, you're going to be on air for the next Who's month? interviewing who, Matt? <laughs> that's why I turned the tables that's for a second. Like... <laughs> God, put me on the spot here. Um, if you do want to send in a text and ask uh, Dom or Matt from Muse a question, or indeed both of them, one nine seven five seven triple five. Georgia from Brisbane has texted in, would Dom wear a leopard print one-piece morph suit if some fans sent one in? Yes. <laughs> the short answer. A what suit? A morph suit. A morph? That's so funny. I don't know what a morph suit Dom, is. Okay. Any chance Dom gets to wear leopard spotted leotards, uh, he, he will take that opportunity. I, I have a silver one piece that I've been wearing <laughs> on stage. But it looks like a Star Trek uniform. Do it's you like, really? Yeah. It's, a, yeah, it's like a custom thing that's kind of... It you looks like a bit a of a 50s sci-fi spaceman. Can, that, so somebody's to send in a little badge, like, uh, you know, the little thing that Star Trek people wear on their left nipple? Yeah. That you stroke. Yeah. And it does stuff, like talks to people <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> well, like, Dom, Dom needs a badge on his left nipple, uh, like a Star Trek badge. Georgia, if you're listening, which I'm sure you are, if you send in a little something that Dom can wear on his left nipple, <laughs> he will wear it on stage. And the, and the leopard leotard. The yeah. morph suit. It's not a leotard. The morph suit, yeah. So what's a morph suit? I don't know. Is that a, a, a body sock? I think that's what mine's called, a body sock. <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> that's what's, yeah, someone said that to me once. It's really uncomfortable because after gigs, like, like, he asks one of us to unzip his body suit and, like, and it's really uncomfortable. Is the zip at the back or the front? At the back. It's the back and you can't undo it, it yourself. It's at the back, but, you know, I need someone to zip me up. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, it's really and nice. these guys like, oh, God, get off. I'm like, someone's got to do it. <laughs> I just picture you backstage and I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought, man. I thought, I thought man, just looking through the window, shaking his head. I'm not sure if that's... I have to force him I'm to I'm not sure it. he's shaking his head at <laughs> the fact that you're wearing one piece or, or the fact that we're talking about unzipping them. Uh, yeah, we're all roommates. Esther and Jess <laughs> are from bad, bad Norwa <laughs> have also sent in a question. What sort of rituals do you do to warm up? Um... Just avoid each other like the plague. And then, and then. <laughs> Just get your anger out on stage. <laughs> no. Uh, no, what do we think? Uh, what do we do? Uh, we tend to, like, you know, pace around in circles and get a bit agitated and drink Red Bulls and um, talk about the gig, you know? Play yeah. ra we play, ra we play like, like loud rock, like play, like... There's a while we kept playing Australian bands, like Wolf Mother. We used to play Wolf Mother a lot before gigs. Uh, Rage Against the Machine. Who else? Just listen to loud rock tracks. Yeah, tends to get you in the mood. You know? I mean, we just you know hang out and think about the gigs and think about think about the show. I suppose and what but we're no, going to do. But we ritual. don't. Yeah, we don't like you know just have a big meditation meditation session meditation. Or, or yeah meditation yeah or I like hug each other or do high fives. And I don't know. We don't really do that. But Your zen process is just someone zipping you up. Slowly. Yeah, that, that's that's all we need. But you know we keep it. Keep it honest. Actually, a, a, I do have a weird ritual of just throwing fruit at Dom for some reason. I don't know, I'm not sure where yeah, that comes right. from, but that is, it happens at every, before, before every gig. I'm mm. just throwing something Try at him. Try Dom and, and uh, Matt from Muse join you this afternoon, and you've also brought in some of your favourite songs. Let's get into the first song choice that Muse have chosen for you this afternoon. This is Weezer, going back a few years, Undone the Sweater Song. Who chose this one? I did. You chose this. Yes. Dom, why'd you choose this? Um, I'll tell you why, because we just, I was in Los Angeles the other day and Weezer are touring a tour called Memories Tour mm -hmm. and what they're doing, I'm, I'm a massive fan of Weezer, have been since the first time I heard this song, which has got 94 or something, and uh, they're doing a tour where they kind of play a kind of greatest hits kind of set and then there's an intermission and then, then they play the whole of the Blue album from start to finish and then the next night they do the same thing but then they play Pinkerton, which is their second album and it was genius and I went to both nights and was just loving it and both me and Matt went to see the Blue Album and it was just, you know, a full nostalgic trip. But uh, I just remember like, loving this track the first time I heard it on the radio in England and, uh, you know, it just kind of blew me away straight away. Well, here it is on Triple J. This is Weezer, Undone the Sweater Song, as chosen by Muse. Triple J, that's Cassius. And a new track called I Love You So and before it, Chosen For You from Dom from Muse, Weezer, Undone, The Sweater Song. It's 20 past five. Hope your Wednesday afternoon is going well. Linda Mariano with you up until six. And Muse are hanging out this afternoon. Matt Bellamy and Dominic Howard. Matt, are you breathing very bizarrely? Oh, can you hear me? Was yeah. I like, was I getting a bit too close to the... <laughs> I, swear, I think you were getting really, really... You're doing a little bit... 
Is that what you heard? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I was just too, I was just leaning on the mic. I was too close, so I'll back off a bit. Just back off a little. <laughs> You're the singer in a band, surely you know how to use a microphone. Yeah, I'm not in the way good with mic control, yeah. It's like you're breathing right in our ears, <laughs> which is a bit uncomfortable to wearing headphones. The latest record, <laughs> The Resistance for Muse, came out earlier this year. Um, we'll play you something off it a little bit later on, and you've also got a, a couple more songs that you have chosen to play this afternoon um but people have been texting in a whole lot of questions um for you one nine seven five seven triple five grace <laughs> from brisbane what was the defining moment for your band when music became a career rather than a hobby <laughs> what was the defining uh defining moment was it when you had to zip up dom's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, actually that was very much a defining like, moment. We, we finally yeah, yeah. made it yeah, I'm yeah. Zipping up a one piece. there you go uh defining moment i i don't yeah i think it was i can't remember Blimey. I always knew I was going to be a musician. I mean, like, from the age of, like, I'd say, like, if you asked me when I was, like, nine, I would have said, oh, I'm going to be, I'm going to be a musician. So, yeah. uh, so it's difficult to pick a, any particular moment because I kind of always knew that's what I wanted to do. But there's been lots, you know, there's been lots of great gigs we've had where you sort of come off and go, that was <laughs> something, something else, yeah. I remember quitting my art foundation course halfway <laughs> through it because we went off to do the band. Because we thought we'd get signed, but we didn't. But I think certainly at that point, we were like, come on, let's just do it. We kind of reached a point when we were like 18 where we realised that, um, you know, because we didn't actually go to university, you know, we did like A-levels and stuff, and then we stopped. But we realised if we were going to do that, we were all going to like split up and it'd be the end of the band. So around that period, it was a, it was a moment <laughs> yeah, where it was we a, said, It was a communal decision to not go to university, because yeah, yeah. we would all end up in different cities. So we said, no, let's, let's give it a go. And that was when we were about 18. So that was quite a defining moment. I agree with that. I like yeah. that. You were like high school sweethearts that just... Didn't want to go off to college without can't, each can't other. Can't let go. Just can't let go. <laughs> well, it's, it's turned into a beautiful thing. Uh, Muse join you this afternoon. We've got another choice um, that you guys have, have brought in to play. This is um, a track from LCD Sound System's latest record, oh, yeah. Drunk Girls. Who chose this one? I did. <laughs> oh, you're just hogging the choices, Dom. I think I chose all of them. Okay, why did you choose Drunk Girls? Uh... <laughs> I I like this band a lot. That's why. No, I I saw them. I actually saw them again in LA at the Hollywood Bowl, and it was it's a really big gig. I had no idea they were kind of that big. Really, like twenty thousand people. But it was a great show, and it was uh, I was really taken aback by how great they were are live, and they sound really re uh, just amazing. The singer's got a great voice, and the show just really, you know, evolved and reached a very high peak towards the end. It was really, really cool. So, and they're playing at the big day out, so I guess it's my kind of live recommendation right now because they're coming around in January. Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't see it, but Dom told me it was pretty good. Yeah, it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is on Triple J, LCD sy Sound System. <laughs> LCD Sound System chosen for you this afternoon by Dominic Howard from Muse and Matt Bellamy join you in the studio as well. It is half past five. They are touring around the country doing a very, very big show where they're up on pillars. They're kind of influenced by George Orwell's 1984. They're running around. Dom's wearing an <laughs> Running old, around? Yeah. Just running around the well, stage. Dom's, Matt, wearing got, Dom's wearing a leotard. <laughs> Matt's got about 16,000 mics that he <laughs> runs to and from. And, How do you know? Have you seen his play? Have you, have you seen the gig? I just imagine. You just know things. I just, <laughs> I like that. I I just it. <laughs> when I know that someone's coming in for an interview, I just sit and think. What kind of bass do you have? I don't have one. <laughs> Let's get into the tour dates. <laughs> Muse are playing around the country. Um, you, you might have tickets to go see them. They are playing tomorrow night and the next night at Sydney Acer Arena. They're also playing next week um, on Tuesday and Wednesday night at the Rod Laver Arena in Melbourne. And then you've got one final show in Perth on next Sunday at the Basindon Oval. Dom and Matt from Muse, thank you so much thank for you so joining much. Thank us you. this afternoon and spending so much time answering some of our listeners' questions. Um Let's go, well, creepy. <laughs> Let's go out with one last song, uh, Dom. I think you've chosen this one as well. This is a, a Mumford and Sons track called "The Cave." Um, I'm guessing you like this. I'm guessing that you. Let, let me guess. No, uh, you saw them play I recently. I saw them play and recently in Los Angeles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, what was the first? Um, yeah, I know. I guess they're a new English band. I think a lot of people have heard of them now, and they're, they're a folk band. And I can't remember the last time a folk band did really well <laughs> you know like in in the kind of capacity that they are so it's yeah they're great musicians great harmonies that's what i like about it amazing vocals. well here it is the cave by mumford and sons chosen by muse on triple j 
Enjoy the rest of your tour, Dom and Matt. Thank you for coming by. Thank you. Cool, thanks.